A great strength of PhotoKey is that virtually all of the controls and commands are immediately available. You can learn the program very quickly because you don't have to dig through levels of menus to find the controls you want. Everything is right here. But there is one spot where a few options for the program in general are stored, mainly the type of controls that you only ever need to set once. To access them, open the File menu and click the Options button. In PhotoKey 6, we have two tabs, General and Color. The General tab lets you customize your interface a bit. You can move the tool set or the viewer controls positions. For example, if we set this to the right and set this to the center, you can see that this tool set, once I click OK, will move over here to the right, and these viewer controls will move to the center. So depending on how you want to set up your interface, you can adjust the position of those controls. We can also set the default down sampling. The quarter sample is quicker, while half sample gives more accurate results. So you can just specify which of those options should be used whenever you create a new project. Of course, at any time while you're using PhotoKey, you can switch from one to the other using this menu at the top of the interface. This just sets the default that will be used for new projects. The last control, Save Projects with Relative Paths, allows you to toggle between using absolute file paths, as most programs typically do, and using relative paths, which makes it much easier to transfer files and projects from one computer to another. The Color tab lets you specify how color and color profiles are handled, so you can ensure color accuracy. For general use, we recommend enabling color management and always use foreground layer embedded color profile. This will make sure that the colors you import into PhotoKey are the same colors you export. For more information on these color profile settings, please see our video which deals specifically with this subject. In PhotoKey 6 Pro, there are some differences in the Options window. The Color tab is identical to in the standard version, but there are some additional options in the General tab. We can specify an external image editor, such as Photoshop. Once that is set, we can right-click on any image and choose Open in Editor to send that image directly to Photoshop or whatever program we've selected for processing. The other additions in the Pro options have to do with the thumbnail cache. Because PhotoKey 6 Pro often works with projects containing large numbers of images, it will create a cache of thumbnails to expedite working with these images. You can specify how long that cache will be stored before those files are deleted to save disk space. Or you can force the thumbnail cache to be cleared at any time. Anytime you open an older project for which the cache has been deleted, the thumbnails will be rebuilt when the project is opened. The Email tab is exclusive to PhotoKey 6 Pro and allows you to email images directly out of PhotoKey. You will need some information from your email provider to set this function up. The username and password are the information you normally use to log in to the email account you want to use. PhotoKey stores this information in a secure encrypted form. The host field should contain the address of your SMTP server. Gmail, for example, uses smtp.gmail.com as its host. Your provider should also give you a port number. Port 25 is common, but Gmail, for example, uses port 465. If your email provider requires SSL, you can enable it with this tick box. The rest of the settings define details of each email you will send. Your name or your company's name can be specified as the sender, so that when your client receives the email, this is the name that it will appear to have come from. The sender's email should be your email address to which you would like any of your client's responses to be sent. You also have the option to BCC one additional email address. If you want to use the same subject line for every email, you can define that here. If you want to include a message in the email along with the image, you can create the body of your email either as plain text or as an HTML file and use these options to select the file that you wish to use. Max image size lets you automatically resize the canvas for faster internet transfer. This setting determines the pixel size of the longest side of your image. So in the case of this image, it would be resized to an image that's 800 pixels tall. 
and then of course the aspect ratio would stay the same. You can control the name of the image that's created using these options. You can either let PhotoKey auto-generate a file name or disable that to create a custom file name for the images you send. Once you have all the email options set up, you can click OK, and then you'll be able to email any image directly out of PhotoKey by clicking the Email button, using the keyboard shortcut Command-M or Control-M if you're on Windows, or by using the File menu Email Canvas Command. You can see that our default subject is already there, but we can edit that if we want. And then you can specify the email address to which you wish to send the image. You can also use the email option to post images directly to your Facebook page. On your Facebook brand page, choose Edit Page, then go to the Mobile section to find the email address that is linked to your Facebook account. Each Facebook brand page includes a unique email address. You could blind carbon copy this address on each email you send so that your images are posted to your Facebook wall as well. Or you could use it as the main email to send an image directly to your Facebook page. The same method can be used for Flickr or any other social network that provides an email address. Taking a few minutes to set all of these options to suit your preference can help make every session in PhotoKey go more smoothly by ensuring accurate color, the downsampling that you want, and getting the external editor and email export options set up and ready to go. These are just a few more of the many benefits offered by PhotoKey 6 Pro.